What's good, everybody? In my video today, we're talking about how to find slope from a graph where there are no points. If you find this video helpful, smash the like button for me. So to begin, guys, there's two things we need to understand. Number one is the points that we can use and the points we can't. So when I go on my graph, we could use this point right here, this point, this point, or this point. And just understand this is a rough sketch of a graph, guys, so bear with me. And the reason why we can use these points is because we're going to have an exact X and an exact Y, and that's what we need when it comes to finding the slope. So we have 4, 2. We have 1, 0. We have negative 1, negative 1. And then we have negative four comma negative three. The reason, like I said, guys, we can use these points is because we have an exact X and exact Y. If we look somewhere else, right, let's say we try to use this point right here. What we notice with this point is we do have an exact X. The X is gonna be three. But when we look at the Y, we don't know if it's 1.4, 1.5. We're gonna have to guess and this is why we do not want to use that point at all. Now that we use that point, we could do two things. We could go through and use the slope formula, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. That's one thing that we can do. Or we could count our rise over run. So when I count my rise over run, right, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, right? So I know my run is going to be 3. Let's write that down. And then my rise is going to be one, two. And guys, just understand that whether we count down two over three or up two over three, that does not determine whether the slope is positive or negative. What determines the slope as being positive is if the line is on an incline. So this is a positive slope because it's slanting upwards. Now, when we go to our other point, right? One, two, three. 1, 2, we're going to notice that we get the same slope of 2 over 3. So understand, guys, in any problem that we do slope on linear equations, a straight line, the slope is going to be the same no matter what point that we pick. Now we're going to go over into a second equation where we find the slope for a negative graph. In our next problem, guys, we now have a negative slope. So remember, the slope is not based off whether we count down or up, but it's based on the line. So when we have a line from left to right that's going downwards, it's on a decline like we're walking down a hill, this would give us the negative slope. This is why it's negative, because of the way the line is slanted. Now, when I go here and I pick my exact points, I have one right here, which would be negative 2, 4, and then I have one right here, which would be zero, one. So if I do my rise over run, guys, I'm gonna go down one, two, three, over one, two. So we have exact points, we count the rise over run, just make sure that we put it in the right order. Meaning we don't put two over three, because that would be wrong, right? We didn't go up two over three. We went up three, over two or down three over two, it's going to be the same thing, guys. So please make sure you guys remember that. But let's say we didn't pick those two points. Let's say we picked these two points. What we have to understand is slope is the same no matter what. So I go down one, two, three, go over one, two. So what I notice is the slope is the same throughout the whole line. It doesn't matter if I go from the first point to the last point, the two middle points, or well, this wouldn't be a good one or the second and the last point, the slope is going to be the same throughout the entire problem, right? And what we're going to do in the last part of this video is talk about horizontal and undefined slopes. Let's get to it. Last part of the video, guys, we're talking about the four types of slope. So in problem number one, we have a positive slope two over three. Just remember, we read slope from left to right. And when the line is on an incline, the slope is going to be positive. 
Just imagine if you're climbing up some stairs, that is a positive slope. When we go to our second example, our slope is negative. Negative slopes are going to be on a decline, right? So just imagine we're going down some stairs, down a hill, that would be a negative slope. Now, in our third example, students get this confused the most because of the zero. Just remember, we cannot divide numbers by zero. There is no value. So what does that mean? Our slope is undefined. There is no slope at all. So pay attention to when you have a zero in the denominator. That means we have a vertical line. Now, problem number four, we have a slope. The slope is zero because we, when we divide anything or when we divide a number by zero, right, zero divided by three, we're always going to get zero. So we do have a value. We do have a slope. It's just zero. So imagine when we're thinking about slope, I want you guys to think about it as um, how we walk, right? We can either walk on a flat surface, right? That's a zero slope. That's what we do every day. We could walk on a decline, we could walk on an incline, but what we cannot do is walk up a vertical wall like the wall that's right here in the video. So hopefully this explanation was helpful for you guys. Smash the like button for us, subscribe to the channel, and leave comments for future videos you guys would like to see on our channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is Aldrin Wall with Mr. Peters.